Derby County visiting Adams Park for just the second time this afternoon. Their first visit was played in front of empty stands back in February 2021. That Covid hit behind closed doors season in three meetings against Wickham. The Rams unbeaten, hopefully that continues today. Our hand to deliver. by Forsyth. And this is Jason McCarthy, the central defender, who is uh, leading the break. Wheeler making ground in the middle. Hamlin from distance. Big deflection! And it falls perfectly for Vokes. Whilst with the peel for offside. But against the run of play, and out of nothing, Wickham have taken the lead. We never got back into shape properly when that ball broke. It was McCarthy that was driving forward. And when McClary comes inside the pitch, he finds Hanlon, strikes the ball. You can see there, folks, just the wrong side of Erin Cashin. He stays on side. And when it bounces back into his path, he makes no mistake. It's a good finish. Cleary again, marshalled by Smith, Scowen now, oh, that's a clever ball, McCarthy getting forward, it only needed a touch. Should have been a second for some votes, great play, McCleary on the edge of the box, Find Scowen, watch this for a pass, Dobbin goes the wrong way, turns his back, McCarthy gets in, flashes it across goal, and Vokes just can't get on the end of it, it's a yard away from him. We're coming out in Derby to halfway and no further. Flicked by Mendes Lang, he'll have to get to it himself. Really good work from the Derby forward, can he pick someone out now? Wonderful, wonderful work from Mendes Lang. What a flick that was over the top of the fullback. Gets on the end of it, his pace gets him past two or three Wickham players into the box. Again, another ball flashed across goal. No one's running towards the goal just to get on the end of it. Streck clears. Wheeler beat Cash into the ball. Folks now. Bounced off Knight, Hanlon. Vokes, wing, still wing, trade at Wildsmith, kind of stuff from the former Middlesbrough man. Great ball from Vokes, wing takes it down, there's five, little flick over Forsyth, strikes it towards the ground, it just bounces up into Wildsmith's hands. Not the best header from Grimmer, and maybe Derby will get one more chance, Mendes Lang, McGoldrick, Waits for support. Just a little bit of time for Derby. This is Corey Smith. Now it's Jason Knight. Toward Collins. And he's headed back across goal. There was nobody there. Well, Collins is arguing that someone should be at the far post. I would argue it's a decent ball from Knight. And he's got a chance of hitting the target himself. This is McCleary. There is Cross. Hanlon back across goal, a little touch. And then a flying clearance from Cashin. Fantastic defending. A wonderful clearance. Hamlin, he's round for side, he's pulled it back. And it's a chance. And Jason McCarthy's put it over the top of the crossbar. He had to get in on target at the very least. Yeah, it's a poor finish from McCarthy. Looks like a centre half in the box, if we're being honest. Quick work from Hamlin down the left hand side, cuts the ball across. 
And as it comes back to McCarthy, you just have to keep it low. Hanlon, the side got back. And is a really good tackle from Derby's captain for the afternoon. It had to be as well. What a challenge that was. Hanlon showed his pace all afternoon. Now here's McGoldrick for Derby. Those changes waiting. McGoldrick. Swings it over! And Derby have the equaliser. James Collins, exactly where you want the striker to be. The rounds are back on level terms, and James Collins is into double figures for the season. We've been crying out for something like this over the course of the game. McGoldrick and Collins haven't quite been on it, but it's the first time McGoldrick shows his class to get in at 1v1. Watch the run from Collins. As soon as McGoldrick gets the ball, he runs towards the goal. I mentioned it time and time again. He gets between the sticks. It's a wonderful ball into the box. And James Collins is where every striker should be. Wheeler. Wins the corner. Making shots on a clearing. Loads of space on the edge of the area. Wing shot takes the deflection. And Wickham have retaken the lead. The Wickham just got themselves in control again. The last five minutes, set piece. You can see the work on it. It's far too easy to get that ball to the edge of the box. But when it comes to wing, he has to hit the target. Keeps it hard and low. There's not a much of a block as it goes back to him. Get on my votes. This is Debar, the substitute. Oh, it's his cross wing. That'll settle it. Lewis wings, second of the game. The man who played for Paul Ward at Rotherham has surely inflicted defeat on his former boss this afternoon. It's all a little too easy, wasn't it? The bar on the right hand side simply doesn't make a challenge. Wing gets half a yard from Fozzie and finishes at the front post. There's going to be any chance of getting back in the game. We had to keep it at 2 1. That doesn't happen. Passion, McGoldrick, Dobbin. Rides the challenge, Dobbin! Well, Derby have one back. This team never knows when to quit. And they're doing their best to fight their way back into this. Well, what is Strieff doing here? The referee's got to get in control of things. Ridiculous scenes after the goal. Down he goes again. Well, Derby are back within one, Sean. Would you believe it? Getting back in the game at 3-2. There's still an opportunity, there's still a chance. It's a great goal from Dobbin as well. Turns wonderfully on the edge of the box and kills it into the top corner. Just when you thought there wasn't a sniff. And there goes the final whistle. Derby's unbeaten run comes to an end. Derby's winning streak comes to an end too. They've lost to Wickham. By three goals to two. An uncharacteristic performance from the Rams on the poor wall. Who don't often concede, let alone concede three in a single game.